Understanding the Stereo Microscope, a guide for English learners. Hello everyone, and welcome to our latest video. Today, we're going to explore an interesting scientific term, Stereo Microscope. This phrase might sound complex, but don't worry, we'll break it down together. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand what a stereo microscope is but also how to use this term confidently in your conversations. Let's start with the basics. A stereo microscope is a type of microscope, which is an instrument used to see objects that are too small for the naked eye. The word stereo comes from the Greek word for solid, indicating that this microscope gives a three-dimensional view of the specimen. Unlike traditional microscopes, which show a flat image, a stereo microscope allows you to see the depth and texture of the object you're observing. Understanding the parts of a stereo microscope helps in comprehending its function. Key components include two eyepieces, objective lenses, and a stage where the specimen is placed. The dual eyepieces and lenses create two separate optical paths, enabling a 3D visualization of the specimen. This feature is particularly useful in fields like biology, electronics, and material science, where understanding the structure of an object in three dimensions is crucial. Stereo microscopes are not just for scientists in labs. They are used in various fields for different purposes. For example, in electronics, they help in inspecting circuit boards. In entomology, they allow the detailed study of insects. Even jewelers use them to examine gems and jewelry. Knowing these applications can help you better understand and discuss the significance of stereo microscopes in everyday life. Now, let's put our knowledge into practice. Here are some sentences. 1. In our biology class, we used a stereo microscope to examine the insect's wings. 2. The technician repaired the small gadget with the help of a stereo microscope. These examples show how you can use the term in real-life contexts. And there you have it. We hope this video has helped clarify what a stereo microscope is and how you can use this term in your conversations. Remember, learning new terms, especially scientific ones, can be challenging but also rewarding. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be using stereo microscope like a pro. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.